Welcome back to educator.com. We're now going to look at a few extra examples to calculate the correlation between two variables. So let's say I have these midterm scores. I'm going to make the midterm score be my x and my final exam score be my y. So what we want to do is we want to find the correlation. Okay? So some of the, some of the things I need to calculate. If I add up all those values of the x's, that should give me 561. If I add up all the squared values of each of those individual x's, so in other words, 79 squared plus all the way to 59 squared, so 79 squared plus 59 squared, that should give me a value of 46,069. We're going to do the same thing for the y's. So if I add up all those values of the y's, I should get 581. If I square each one of those values, so I'm taking 85 squared plus 67 squared, that should give me 48,875. And then the last thing I want to do is calculate summation x times y. So that means I'm taking 79 times 85 plus all the way to 59 times 67. And when I do that, I get 47,291. Okay, so now I want to find my correlation. So I'm taking this 47,291 minus 561 times 581. That quantity divided by how many pairs do we have? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven pairs. In the denominator, I have the square roots of, well, we have 4,669 minus 561 squared divided by 7. And then we have our 48,875 minus 581 squared divided by 7. And when we calculate all this, we get 0.856. So this is a very strong, well, maybe not very strong, but it's a strong linear positive relationship between the two variables. So if you did well on your midterm score, you're probably going to do well on your final score.